What's up guys, in today's video we're going to be talking about the biggest sports card release of the year, which is 2020-21 Panini Prism Basketball, which comes out this Wednesday officially. It is going to be a retail and hobby release, meaning that it's going to drop on Wednesday on Panini's websites and hobby stores, and slowly it will start to release at Targets and Walmarts as well. Usually the retail release comes out about a week after the hobby box releases, which is slated for this Wednesday. but um, some people have started seeing them at their targets and Walmarts, so I would be on the lookout. In my opinion, this would probably be the best hobby box of basketball cards that will release in 2021. But that doesn't mean that it doesn't come with a huge price tag because it's going to be really expensive. I'm estimating that the hobby box will release between $1,500 and $2,500. By the time that this video out, the price may be up on Panini's website, so I'll put the link in the description so you can check and confirm the price tag. The hobby box will come with 12 packs and 12 cards per pack with a chance of two autographs and 22 parallels on average per hobby box which is really great but then again it's gonna be really expensive the retail format will obviously be more affordable and definitely worth the cop if you're lucky enough to find it it should be typical basketball card prices with blaster boxes around $20 and then mega boxes around $50 and then you could also get cello packs and hanger boxes as well should you buy the hobby box at this price? In my opinion, no. Like most hobby boxes, it's gonna be a complete gamble, and with a price tag that big, it's an expensive gamble. Um, with that money, I would rather buy a PSA 10, Zion Williamson from last year, or John Morant, which you can get both for cheaper than a hobby box of this year's prism so i feel like that's definitely a better deal well let's take a look at the cards in my honest opinion these are the best looking sports cards to drop this year it's the same design as prism football from last year but i just like basketball cards better the base cards are dope i love the look of the base Stephen curry or the second year zion williamson the parallels this year also look really good um, they're going to be way easier to get out of a hobby box but some of them you will still be able to find in retail boxes as well. One thing that I think is hilarious is that they've used the same picture of Kevin Durant on so many of the recent basketball card releases. I also think it's kind of strange how some of the photos of the base cards are old photos. As you can see, there's a full arena behind the players, which is obviously not the case now with COVID. The most iconic parallel is the silver prism, which looks really nice on the preview image. The inserts are usually pretty weak in Prism, but this year they stepped it up with the 2012 design. It's the same design as the first year of Prism, but with modern players, and they're probably the best looking cards in the whole set in my opinion. You can get 2012 versions of players like Zion, Jason Tatum, Stephen Curry, Kyrie, Luka, Trey Young, and more. The other insert that stands out to me this year is the widescreen insert, especially the John Morant one. By far the biggest card each year in Prism is the rookie card, and this year the class features Lamelo, Edwards, Quickly, and obviously more. The rookie cards look dope, especially in the different color variations. Comment down below which rookie you're going to be going for. Other cards in this year's Prism will include Autographs, Downtown, Fearless, and more. Prism is going to be insane this year, and it's the basketball card set that I'm most excited to try and get. Let me know in the comment section below your thoughts on it. Do you think it's overhyped, or will you be trying to get it? Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate the support. Drop a like, comment what you guys think, and what rookie you're going to be trying to get, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.